so welcome back to our channel active catalyst in this video you will understand how to remember the laws of logic first we have idempotent law so in idempotent law remember the letter p so you i hope you know like everywhere you will you either use the symbol of or or and okay so now in idempotent law p or p will be p p and p will also be p okay like that you have to remember then coming to identity law in identity it is false or true so in case of or it is false in case of and it is true okay answer will also be true then we have inverse law inverse is nothing but you will apply inverse to the right hand side left hand side you keep it as it is like p or not of p is true p and not of p is false okay like that you have to remember dominating law where the letter true t means true and false dominate okay so true and false is going to dominate then we will come to this side law of double negation so you will apply double negation so it is p then we have de morgan's law so see remember not of p or q is nothing but not of p as it is so in place of this you will write and and not of q in simple what answer you will get is see you have to write not in both the sides and change this symbol or will become and here and will become or similarly let us move to associative law associative law means if you find two same symbols then it is associative law here you have three letters here in all we had how many letters only two right p q from associative law you will have three letters p q and r okay so if both same symbols are used in question if you are putting bracket here in answer you can put bracket for p and q okay only bracket changing if same symbols is there then it is associative law then we have commutative law which says that p or q is nothing but q or p writing the letters interchanged will not make any difference right so it is commutative law then we have distributive law where again we are using the same three letters okay remember in associative law we have same symbol but in case of distributive law we will have different symbols okay you can see here or and okay simple again so p just you multiply the p with q and later p with r okay and write this symbol only here and in between you apply and okay so p or q and p or r okay then we have absorption law again it is only two letters remember only in case of distributive law and associative law we have three letters in case of absorption and all we have only two letters see p or p and q is nothing but p only okay remember so in the whole you can remember like what is in case of idempotent law identity law and absorption law answer will be p only okay i hope you have understood how to remember the laws of logic in the next video i'll cover the numericals part and other important concept first i'll explain what is theory part how the common steps are there for solving the problems followed by questions i'll try to cover model paper questions three pyq paper questions uh, like if you understand the logic even in the question paper if they change the question you should be able to solve i'll try teaching in that way so we'll meet in the next video if you have not subscribed to this channel i request you to subscribe so that i can buy a good mic 